Nearly 40 years ago, at the 1984 Olympics in L.A., Mary Lou Retton vaulted her way into America's heart. The then 16-year-old becoming the first U.S. woman to win gold in the all-around, catapulting her to superstardom with commercials and sponsorship deals, even playing Tiny Tim in the big screen film Scrooged, and more recently competing on Dancing with the Stars. But this morning, the legendary gymnast is reportedly hospitalized with a very rare form of pneumonia, according to a crowdfunding post by her daughter, McKenna Kelly, who writes in part, Mary Lou is fighting for her life. She is not able to breathe on her own. She's been in the ICU for over a week now. Kelly asking the public for donations, writing that her mother is not insured. When we talk about rare forms of pneumonia, it, it could be these inflammatory type pneumonias in individuals with underlying medical conditions, or it could be a rare form of infection that we don't often talk about. The gymnast appeared to be in good spirits earlier this year as she and McKenna hosted a gymnastics tour called For Mothers and Daughters, Forever Our Legacy. The two speaking out on the importance of mental health for girls and young women in the sport. Mental health wasn't even a thing. A thing. It yeah, wasn't yeah. allowed. It was suck it up, be tough. Retton and her daughter also sat down with Craig and Savannah in 2019 after McKenna's LSU team won second place at the NCAA championships with Mary Lou cheering her every move. There she was in the stands screaming her heart out. I, I promise her every year. It's like, McKenna, I'm going to sit like every other normal parent and I just can't do it. Now, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee says Mary Lou attended its annual assembly just two weeks ago. They're working to provide assistance to her family through their relief fund, writing, please know that our hearts are with Mary Lou, as are ours, guys. All yeah. right. Kristen, thank you so much. Let's bring in NBC News medical contributor Dr. Tara Narula. This is so shocking to yeah. think that there is this rare form of pneumonia that can leave you like this in the ICU. What might they be talking about here? I mean, Hoda, any form of pneumonia could potentially leave you like this. So we think about it as being something that's relatively common and you recover from mm -hmm. it. But in certain cases, pneumonia can become severe enough that people end up in the ICU on a ventilator and there can be complications from that, even from your typical bacteria or viruses. So we know that it's responsible for about 40, 50,000 deaths a year oh. in this country. It's the second leading cause of hospitalization in America is pneumonia oh. and about four and a half million outpatient visits and ER visits for pneumonia. And so certainly, you know, it's scary to hear about this, but it is something that happens. Well, normally, if you do have pneumonia and lots of folks have had it, I've had it, you get antibiotics, right. you might get a steroid and, and mm -hmm. hopefully that's the end of it. What are some of these complications mm -hmm. that could form where she could, as her daughter is saying, really be fighting for her life? Right. Well, first of all, let's talk about what puts you at increased risk, because there are some people who may be more predisposed to having it become more severe, and that's those who are over 65, those who are smokers, those who may have underlying lung disease like COPD or asthma, cardiovascular disease, who are immunocompromised or have diabetes. And so those populations are at higher risk. And then, very important, those who get viral infections like the flu or COVID or RSV, which really highlights the importance of getting vaccinated so you can reduce your risk of becoming a severe complication. But when you talk about the severity, you know, pneumonia is can be caused by bacteria or viruses. And many times, when you get to the ICU, it's very hard to know what it is that's causing it. And mm. so you hit someone with what we call broad spectrum antibiotics, really stuff that covers everything mm -hmm. in the hopes that you're going to be able to kill the bacteria um, or treat the pathogen. And then ultimately you pare down those. But sometimes you're not getting the right bacteria. Mm. And so people can mm -hmm. stay sick. Sometimes it's a drug resistant bacteria. Mm. Sometimes complications can happen like a heart attack or a stroke or it can be they can become septic. So the bacteria spreads mm. into the blood. Mm. They develop organs failure. So there are definitely complications that might take someone from maybe they recover within 48 to 72 hours in the ICU, which is yeah. what you hope, to someone who stays there as she did for almost a week. Really quickly, Dr. Nurilla, what are some things that, uh, that folks can do to reduce the chances that they might get pneumonia, or are there things we can do? Yeah, so absolutely. I mean, getting vaccinated, so the pneumococcal vaccine for those who are over 65 or who have underlying risk factors, the flu vaccine, you all got your flu shot, RSV now, COVID, these can definitely decrease the potential that you may end up in the ICU. Certainly stopping smoking if you're a smoker and controlling your underlying risk factors. So, you know, all of those things are ways that you can prevent it. And then recognizing the signs and symptoms early. So if you have a productive cough, a fever, you're short of breath, you 
you notice your lips, your fingers are turning blue, you're breathing faster, your heart rate's sped up. Those are signs to look for. And in some older people, the only signs may be kind of malaise or feeling weak or lethargic or even confusion. Um, so really, you know, having that threshold for knowing when you should get to the mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. All right. important. Great tips. Thank you, Dr. Narula. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.